Hey, what's up guys, Soaps here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing update number one of the Seven Seas TCG. Today, we're gonna be trying out updates. Um, I'm, this is new with this game, if you haven't been here for a while. Usually I've tried to do separate series for a card game, try to pinpoint different different things. But today, we're just gonna do an update and just show you everything that I've been working on. And then as the card game progresses and I just want to make more videos, I'll just make more updates. And then you can kind of get a smorgasbord of different things to uh, look at. So, yeah, we don't really have a topic because we're going over everything. But as you can see, Mannequin Man is really liking this card game, so he's going to keep his uh, hat on. I got a uh, $5 Black Series uh, Stormtrooper, so I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I'll put him in the background. And uh, I made a scroll saw puzzle of... Um, this kid named Soaps on the interweb, so I put him in the back because he's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's the background. And then I have, actually, uh, you can see the very back, I have um, a poster of The Return of the Jedi. I don't know why they made it so small, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of small. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll, um, I think we'll just go over the crew members. And usually I won't recap like this, but because of the 600 subscriber special, I think it would be just uh, fair to recap the ones that I talked about in that video. There's going to be more. Don't worry. It's not just going to be like 600 subscriber special with less talk about 600 subs. Or at this point, we already have more talk about 600 subs because I've said it like three times. But okay. Yeah. Crew members. So first up, we got Fishy Jim. Um, so he is a range he costs three doubloons, so he is what I like to call a level two. Um, he is a crew member, and he has 60 HP. We haven't really figured out what the difference is going to be between um, range and melee, guys. We are originally going to... Well, I'm sure we can come up with uh, an idea to make them special, but originally we were going to say that with a certain distance away from the two ships, you could use your range guys to, like, do a little bit of damage to either the ship or the people on the other ship, which we might still do, but we haven't really fleshed that out yet. So, Fisher Jim. So we got Old Timer, which is a level three, and he costs four doubloons. And when I say level, I just mean the tier of the doubloon cost. So level one would be two doubloons, because that's the lowest it goes. Three would be level two, and then four would be level three. So he's a melee, and he has 60 HP. It is his attack is Charred Pipe, and his ability is Experience. Action cards are minus, cost minus one when being played to the to his ship. So uh, you want to use action cards on him, if you can tell by that. <laughs> Next up, we got another level three, four to the balloon. Totally not a robot, and he's a range. 70 HP, electric shock, 20 damage. Don't mix with water. Whoever kills... This crew member loses 30 HP. So, he's an interesting card that uh, I guess you wouldn't really worry about him dying because he'll do a good amount of damage to whoever killed him. So, I've got Dicer, one of the new cards, so I'll bring him oh, super close up. Um, <laughs> God, I don't have to. Okay, um, he's a level one. He's a range. And um, so, so, why is this Starfish a range, you may ask? Um, because... Uh, I accidentally made him a range, so I was like, you know what? He's got throwing knives. That's how everybody reads. Le right to left, guys. Um, deal 10 damage to two crew members, so, because he's got two of them, and uh, he's got 40 HP, so that's Dicer. So we got Sappy, everybody's uh, best friend, and he's a crew member. Wow, no way. We're totally not in the crew member pile, so three doubloons, so he's a level two range again. I messed up. Ink shot, so he's a squid, so he can obviously shoot ink. So 20 damage, the defending crew member cannot attack next turn. So 60 HP. Next up we got Bobby. Yeah. Uh, naming skills. He's a level one. Nothing but broom, because there's a broom behind him. If you couldn't tell, that's what it is. And um, he's like the janitor on the ship. And he's a melee, and he has 40 HP. Next up we got Pete the Parakeet. Dun dun. And he's a level one. It's raining, pecs, hallelujah, and uh, 10 damage. Flight, 
flip a coin once this card is attacked if heads the attack fails so that makes up for its really low hp because you have a 50 percent chance of not getting hit all the time and he's up at the top mast or whatever with a green sail so next up uh, we'll just go over the ships again so I, I guess we'll go into a little bit of rules i'll make a dedicated rule video but some people were a little bit confused so i'll just talk about how things work again real quick so there's three types of ships galleon frigate schooner you need to have all three to make a deck and when i say deck in this game um someone said that i should call it like a crap what was it like a harbor or um not a harbor i don't know i forget because i'm really cool um somewhere where you put your ships <laughs> um maybe it was harbor i don't know but uh, we might do that later down the line. But when I say deck, I mean what you need to play the game. So you'll have your three ships on the board. And then you'll have your two decks. Your action deck and your crew member deck. So when I say all of that, I mean your deck. What you need to play the game. So you need a schooner, frigate, galleon. And these are the three that I've made so far. So you got the leaky spoon, the leaky bucket, and the steel dragon. See what I'm doing there with the leakies? <laughs> I'm making a run. And I think it'll be really cool to do like a archetype in this game. I probably won't do super fancy abilities because I think that'll take away from what makes the game fun. I don't want it to be like super duper combo fancy hacks, but um, it would be fun to do like corresponding names. So like they're all part of the same armada or like a squad of pirate ships or something like that. I think that would be really fun. So look out for that. Um, so we got the Leaky Spoon, which is a schooner, if you can read. That's what I was saying before. And has a capacity of two, can move two knots. So um, when you're playing your dudes to your ship, gains capacity. 30 damage, he has a range of one. So he can hit one knot away, and he has 260 HP. Next up, we got the Leaky Bucket, capacity of three, speed of two, 60 damage, two knots away and 330 HP. Steel Dragon, capacity 5, speed 1, 80 damage, range of 2 knots, and 470 HP. So if you guys were wondering, I am really quite happy of how this game is turning, turning out. I think that I can officially say that this is my favorite game that I've ever made. Um, I just love pirate stuff, because I'm weird like that, and... Uh, now that I can draw kind of good, it uh, that helps a lot. So <laughs> I like seeing what I can come up with. So now we're going to talk about action cards. So I'm going to go in the order that I made them because I only have four. And um, actually, this is already off. Okay, well, you didn't see that. Um, first up, we got North Winds. It costs two doubloons. Oh, wait, so how do I use action cards? Because I didn't understand. Okay, well... Let me explain. So you have two decks. You have a crew member deck and an action deck. And when you draw, let's say you we've already figured out drawing. You're already wicked smart. You can figure out how to draw cards. How do you play them? So on your turn, you gain two doubloons, which you can either use to play crew members onto your ships if they have capacity to hold them left over. And, uh, or you can just play your doubloons to use your action cards, and you just kind of do what it says, like it's a spell card, or a page card, or a, a resource card, or anything, or, um, yeah. So, one of your ships can move plus two knots, so you just play your uh, doubloons, and then you can move. Yeah, I'll put you over here. So we got Chain Shot, and this art was really interesting to try and um, draw, because I... Don't go to art class. I don't do anything fancy, so I don't really... I don't have no teacher, bro. So I just have to figure out things out as I go. And uh, I don't know how to perspective good. So um, that's what I did, and I think it came out pretty cool. So I, lo I like this angle. It's like you, you got to get really close up and just be like, I'm in the moment. So, uh, yeah. Um, and then you can try to focus your camera ten times when you're in the moment. Totally doesn't take you out of the moment at all. Okay, so that costs one doubloon. So you have one doubloon left over to place your crew members next turn or possibly caught, play another action card. And what I said in the 600 subscriber special, which I want to reiterate because it's really important, is that 
I want to make action cards no more than two doubloons. So I want to have them somewhat balanced, so two levels of action cards, one lower and then one higher, one and two, because I don't think that it should cost more than what you already gain on the turn. So if you don't have any doubloons saved up, you can play an action card because it's an action. You should be able to do it every turn. I don't think I want this to be something that you have to save up for. So just something that you can that can turn the tide of the game just a little bit, and it keeps the game interesting because you draw them every other turn. So I like those cards. Um, so we got Feathered Friends. Yeah. Um, equip this card to one of your ships. All of the crew members' attacks are... Attacks do plus 10 damage, yes. So it costs two doubloons, and um, pretty basic. Um, this is totally an action. Um, we're already kind of <laughs> moving away from actual actions, and now more of just like things. I, I guess, you know, a bunch of birds can show up on your boat. That's an action. That is a viable action. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can't draw birds crazy, but they look pretty cool in my opinion, so... If you didn't know when I say something, it is my opinion. Pretty crazy, right? Um, then finally, we got nails and boards. The old nails. And you just... I really should have said repair, because that's the terminology that I want to use. But I'm wicked smart, and I wrote heal. So heal one of your ships, 50 HP. Um, but we'll pretend it says repair one of your ships, 50 health points. So that's Nails and Boards. So that's all the cards that I have so far. And now we're going to get into the board because I, well, you saw in the 600 subscriber special what the, the base board looked like, just what the blank board looked like. And uh, I think that it would be really cool to actually make a de detailed one, like a pirate map, like a treasure map. So I did that. And um, I think it came out really nice. I just finished it about an hour ago. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I tried my best um, and uh, I think it shows. So I made this logo in the top right. I'm going to show you on the floor again. We're going to go do another floor reveal and uh, show you that. But I just want to show you some of the things up close, like uh, the logo. And uh, I think that came out really nice. And you got a whale, and you got you got a dolphin. Pretty great. This is the top right half. And I made it look like a torn up map. And then um, this is the bottom left. You got a you got a sea monster in Skull Island and more map ish parts. And then you got um, a squid guy. And a ship, and uh, a guy who's um, drowning. Should probably go help him soon. And then finally, another one of my really favorite parts. This is the bottom right, and uh, I made a compass. And um, I'm learning how to shade, which is pretty cool. Um, hopefully that looks good to some people, but uh, I thought it came out pretty cool. So um, yeah, and then there's some dudes in a ship. And more mapish stuff. And I guess I'll just show you it on the ground now. So, yeah. Okay, so I uh, changed my mind last minute. We're still at the, the table. But um, this is what it looks like in the whole thing. So if I mess everything up and go and try and grab a... Uh... Oh, boy. If I go and try and grab a... Oh, okay, I got one. Um, a ship card. You'll place it on the map, and then you can move around and stuff. I'll actually have this attached. These are just the originals because I wanted to show you them in the highest quality to make it look like if I had a really good printer or something like that, that would do a, a good print and scan. So you're moving your dudes around and stuff's happening. This is what it would look like. So... um that's the board. And yeah, you can move over the compass and stuff. This is purely decoration. So you could still use the board that I showed you in the 600 subscriber special. This is just a, wow, look, it's a pretty, pretty board. And I do like how this came out. It does look pretty fancy. And maybe I'll color it for a special or use my uh, grayscale markers to do better shading. But for now, 
I'm just going to keep it like this. And uh, if I do want to color anything, I'll just copy it and then color it on the copy so I can change it whenever I want. If I just want a black and white, I can have a black and white. If I want to color it, I can color. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'll see you back. Um, oh, wait, we're still at the table. I'll see you back when this is gone. Wow. Okay, so believe it or not, we're back, and um, I think that's going to be it for update number one. So hopefully next time I will uh, have some ships to show, because uh, then I might actually be able to play the game if I have two pairs of ships and get two decks going. Um, but yeah, that'll probably be what I'm working on tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. I want to say thank you for all the crazy views that we've had on the 600 subscriber special. It's been going really fast. And um, yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys like this video just as much as you like the 600 subscriber special. And um, I think it'll be a little bit more interesting when I actually talk about <laughs> more new cards than um, old cards. But that's just what I was doing today. So yeah, uh, Seven Seas TCG. Heck yeah. Thank you guys for watching.